Hey guys, welcome to this week's individual weekly video for the week of June 18th. And I'm so excited because this week is actually a really cool collaboration with a chance for you to win your own tarot deck from Hip Chick Tarot. We have got Maria coming up after my forecast, not only telling you a little bit about her cards and her tarot deck, but also giving each individual sign a little mini reading of what that card applies to for them for the week. So make sure you stay tuned after your forecast to see what Maria has to say for you as well. And make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe my page and Maria's for a chance to grab this tarot deck, which is phenomenal. <laughs> All right, stay tuned for your forecast. Hi Leo, so this week, the week of June 18th, right at the beginning of the week here on Monday, we have got Neptune taking a retrograde. Now, Neptune is an outer planet, so this is going to govern more than just our personal space. Also, it's going to be a global kind of energy. But for you, it is retrograde here in Pisces in the eighth house. So when Neptune is retrograde, it's just like any other retrograde. We're going to re, we're going to relook, revent, re-edit, reconnect, any of those things. And one of the things I keep thinking with this being in your eighth house is maybe you're reconnecting to this sexy house. This is the eighth house. This is the house of all things occult, deep mysterious intimate sex the actual act of sex not just our sexuality but sex right so maybe you're reheating it up the other thing i keep thinking of is because neptune is this energy that typically can be um very deceptive or it's not clear or things are foggy with our neptune energy when neptune is retrograde things are very very clear you have no fog it is clear so this could also be a time where you're really tapping into your study of all things occult uh, maybe it's time for some more metaphysical training on your part right whatever it is you have an apt amount of clarity around it going forward that actually helps you over the next five months so in november i'm sure you will have arrived at some new conclusion about these eighth house matters now i do want to give you one very big red flag for leos this week we have also on wednesday got the moon in virgo and this gives me the indication of being very detail oriented and very picky now we've got neptune who has some clarity but it's not completely clear because it just happened this week in the eighth house do not loan money this week. If you can avoid it, if somebody is just trying to get you to loan them money, this is a not great week to be doing that. If it's something that is a charity or you're just gifting it or giving it without any expectation of getting it back, I think that this is a phenomenal energy for you to be able to do that. But not to loan money this week is just too treacherous for that business. Now, as we get towards the end of the week, we've got the sun moving into Cancer on the 21st. So this means summertime. We're officially here it's a beautiful energy right before birthday time for you but this means that the sun is lighting up giving heat vitality and attention to the 12th house space for you so what's happening in this time when the sun is here is that maybe you're wanting to be a little bit more quiet maybe you're wanting to do things more in the background maybe you've got a project you're working on behind the scenes some area of your life that is behind the scenes is being illuminated right now so keep that in mind and I think that this could also be um, something for you to take time to consider. I mean, this is the last phase before your solar, your annual solar cycle is going to begin. So right before your next birthday situation happens, what do, you, what do you need to reevaluate? What do you want going forward? You've got a lot of Saturn enter the energy that's also working for you. You know, consider what has Saturn been showing you so that as the sun moves into your sign and you're ready to, you know, fling yourself out into the open because it's birthday time you have a clear goal and a clear vision of where you're wanting to take those things okay i also think too because the sun will be here in the 12th house if you've not been seeing something clearly in the 12th house or you've been in denial about something this will be a great time to bring some clarity to that energy as well so all right leos like comment share subscribe to my channel and maria's for your chance to get the hip chick tarot deck that she's got going on this week and coming up uh, maria's not only going to pull a card for you to focus on on this week but tell you a little bit about the cards in her deck as well so stay tuned i love you leos so Bye. this is the strength card and the woman in this card is uh, soothing this tiger and she's she's naked in her vulnerability before this massive tiger you know it, that could be really threatening but she doesn't um go after this tiger with force and aggression 
She goes after it with patience and understanding. In the background, there's this mountain that represents higher awareness. The sun is blessing her and there's this little daisy of um, innocence and trust that is, is also an important symbol for the card because the card is about you trusting yourself and being able to soothe and get to know and learn from and handle your conflicts. That's what the tiger is. You know, it, the tiger could be your aggression, your anger, your pain, your um, compulsions. Whatever it is, it's, um, you're there to make friends with that and understand that and help that um, energy dissipate and not have such a hold on you. And that's a really big spiritual um, and practical journey to go through. But it's done in this, in this way of, um, that really, really requires this vulnerability. And that's why, why it's so important that this, this naked woman there is, is able to um, be a symbol of that kind of vulnerability. Practically, this card is telling you that you have what it takes to get through what you're going through. You have the internal resources, especially, to handle it. And you probably have the external resources or you can get them. So when the card comes up, it's really reassuring you that you have what it takes to handle what's going on in your life and to learn from it and to grow and to become stronger and softer at the same time.